Recently, a brand new game has launched online, Dynasty Origins Conquest. And Dynasty Origins Conquest is a mobile game that is a twist on the classic strategy card RPG genre. Now, there are six key types of units or generals in this game. The Light Cavalry, the Heavy Cavalry, the Guardians, infantry, the support, and the archers. Now, in Dynasty Origins Conquest, you have 16 squares on the map before the battle starts where you can place your generals and decide what sort of strategy you want to take against your opponent. You can also take a look and see what your opponent is planning to do and adjust your strategy accordingly. After all, in war, the formation your troops take does make quite a big difference. All right, now the setting is the late Eastern Han dynasty and the imperial court is in huge huge trouble as you are about to see exactly right struggles for power armies fighting each other lots of action and strategy but just as uh, you might get overwhelmed in this case some cavalry can come on in Always important to have reinforcements. But your strategy matters a lot too. There's also lots of different troop types, as we talked about. And uh, as you'll see very shortly, there's also some epic magic. Oh yeah, just wait. You want to turn the tide of battle? You gotta choose one to use this. Look at this. Coming in. Got your main heroes fighting off. But wait. Who's this? We need the wisdom of the ancients. Ho ho. We need Here it comes. Boom! And just like that, I mean, seriously, huge impacts. Strategy plus spells. The epic ultimate combo. That's right, the power is in your hands. But all right, now let's actually dive into the game of Dynasty Origins Conquest so you can really see how strategy combines with wisdom and magic to prevail against your enemies. All right, now here's my account and check it out. Look at how many different heroes there are in Dynasty Origins Conquest, 55 different heroes, and you can see the different types of heroes here. So they of course all have different abilities. Like for example, Ma Yun Lin here summons two war wolves to fight every 18 seconds can be a really big help. Now, I only have her at a lower level, but as you level them up, you get more skills, and of course, they also get stronger. And of course, just for logging in, a lot of times there are some really nice free rewards too. Like, boom, advanced recruit token. Now you can see a really nice preview of these heroes right here. You can see their different abilities. He has fire magic, which causes burning damage in an area. He also has the battle cry, which boosts allies crit chance, double wind, which slows down enemies, and his ultimate causes all your ally archers to do fire damage and have crazy fast attack speed. Plus, you can sort of see as you advance in level all the different extra abilities you can get, whether it's from faster attack speed, more damage, better cooldown, more mana, you know, all sorts of different things. All right, let's go ahead and take a battle through on the campaign. Liu Bei and his men encountered enemy troops preparing to destroy the wooden bridge. Well, it sounds like we got to defend the bridge. Bridges are crucial in warfare. Here is your starting screen when you go ahead and fight an enemy. And before you go ahead and do that, you can scout and see what positioning they have. For example, I can see that the enemy has in the front some infantry and then on the side, a bunch of light cavalry. So what I'm going to do is move my weaker backline units all the way on the opposite side from the cavalry put my infantry and cavalry on the same side as them this way they can fight each other and hopefully my more squishy important units can stay alive here all right now here we go we're fighting it off and you can see here we go i'm gonna cast a lightning spell do some damage i also have a spell to boost the damage of my troops let's go ahead and cast that but of course, I only have a certain amount of mana here. You can see I'm gaining six every few seconds. Here we have a meteor storm for 30 energy. Boom! Look at all that damage. Not quite finishing them off, but it's getting close here. Cast another spell. You can see the health bar in the middle here as well. Almost down here. Last bit left. Don't need to boost my troops. 
Easy, easy win. And just like that with my strategy of keeping my mage and my archers off in the far side away from the enemy cavalry, I was able to outposition my opponent. And of course we get some sweet rewards as well for every battle you do. Boom, level up, guess what? More rewards, more stuff unlocked. Oh ho ho, we just unlocked the index, which allows us to make our heroes even stronger. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Come on. Ooh, this will allow us to double our attack in the hell. Now that's pretty nice. But of course, throughout the campaign, there's plenty of different types of battles you have to do. Here we are, our next attack, we gotta take and capture back a city. The defeated enemies fled into Liang, so, we are gonna try and capture it back and uh, hopefully get some nice rewards. Now, of course, before we begin, let's go ahead and scout, take a look at their positioning. Now I can see he has some archers in the middle. So let's make sure we have cavalry on the side somewhere. And otherwise, I think we're gonna be pretty good with this positioning, but let's, uh, let's see how it goes. And of course, also, one huge factor is how timely your spell casts are as well. You know, of course, not only can we boost our allies by making them stronger, we can also choose to do damage, but you only have so much mana available. So uh, we gotta choose wise. Meng Ho, oh, come on. Who's foolish? It's really you, I think. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, cast some thunder magic. And I think, let's go ahead and boast our infantry on the side here. All right, nice. Doing some good work. He reached the back line, I'm taking their archers on. Let's go ahead and cast a meteor storm on their archers. Lower health, easier kills, and more value, I think, as well. Uh, but we also need to take out their guardians, too. We gotta get down those shields, which is that white bar. And once that white bar is down, then they start losing health. Maybe we should boost our allies over here. Seems like they're needed. They're fighting some tough enemies, but we cleaned up their back line. There's nowhere else for them to go. They're completely surrounded. Boom! This should be some nice, easy work and a clean victory recapturing the city. A perfect win, as they say. And of course, in Dynasty Origins Conquest, there's plenty of ways to get lots of rewards in this game, like quests. We got story quests, we got achievement quests, and daily quests as well. Oh, look at that! We just unlocked Sun Shangxing! Area damage Wu Archer. And when we log in tomorrow, we'll get the mage Zou Yu as well. Lu Bei, I think he's uh, deserving of some upgrades here. He's been doing some nice work. Leveled him up to level eight. And then let's raise his captaincy as well. This way the troops around him become stronger, not just him. If you level him up, he becomes stronger. But if you also level up the hero's captaincy, all those allied troops that they bring with them will become stronger. Strategize, fight, and conquer the world. You too can do that in Dynasty Origins Conquest. Download today with the links down below. And shout out to Dynasty Origins Conquest for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you in Dynasty Origins Conquest.